Hey guys, welcome to my uh, videos uh, tutorial, first video tutorial on OpenCV C++. Okay, so in this video, I'll be giving you an introduction to OpenCV and also showing you how to install OpenCV on uh, Debian. Okay, so I'm using Debian 9 stretch here. Okay, Debian 9.5, uh, I think it's the latest release. And uh, let's start. So. Uh, first thing we do is uh, just go through the terminal and uh, type sudo apt update and and apt upgrade okay and just write the password and you see it's updating and uh <coughs> after it updates I have prepared a text file here which will guide you through the installation. Yes, it is. Let it load. Oops. There's a lot of thing here. So, here's the text file which will guide you through the installation. Okay. So, it's having some problems. So, you just uh, update and upgrade through here uh, this. And uh, I will give this text file in this. Uh, the in the description of my video and you can uh, copy and paste it from there to your text file and just execute the command sequentially uh, so we have done this part uh, sudo after update and upgrade next part is installing required packages and uh, you will go through these commands uh, for executing this okay so open your terminal and just copy and paste these uh, uh, commands on your uh, terminal one by one and they will install the required packages for building open cv next thing you have to do is download the source files from github okay so this is just for uh, release version okay for downloading you see uh, I have, uh, there are two source codes you have to download uh, the one is the release and the other is contrib version okay so let me just copy and paste this in my oops I'm sorry I'm using a laptop here okay without the mouse just with my trackpad so I'm having a little bit problem here <coughs> so I think we both have to compromise here so you have to download this uh, OpenCV 3.4.3 version here okay and uh, I think this is also for 3.4.3 so you have to download the first download this OpenCV source code zip for 3.4.3 if you are on Windows then you can download any other things like here yeah, but uh, if you are on Debian or a this is actually a cross platform you, if you are in Debian Mac or Windows it doesn't matter or all you have to do is download this, this source code uh, dot zip or tar tarball file whatever you have to download and uh, in here you can download the uh, zip file or just uh, git clone it in your home directory or in the other directory okay now after you have downloaded these two files uh, just extract it in, in the place where you, where you want to install opencv or build opencv libraries okay so just uh, keep it in the place where uh, you have enough storage approximately uh, when i switched uh, Qt and other things like OpenGL, OpenCL and other things uh, it took approximately 11 GB okay uh, if I show you the information of this file then you see 10.8 GB it's approximately 11 GB now after you uh, uh, in my case I started it in my desktop and uh, after extracting it um, I renamed it to OpenCV and OpenCV Contrib okay so OpenCV Contrib contains extra uh, libraries extra modules for your OpenCV build okay and uh, after you extract it here then go to opencv and uh, create a release uh, directory you see release here i am uh, not going to show you this uh, building here i am uh, not going to show you that i am actually building it in this video because that will take a long long time uh, uh, the whole process will take approximately this will depend on the internet speed and this will uh, depend this part will depend on your uh, PC speed this whole part okay so you see we have not really the steps CD release and other things uh, next task is to when you are in your release directory open your terminal uh, if I go into my release directory and I do this open in terminal 
and I am in my release directory and then copy and paste this command cmake uh, you have to install cmake for this which I have included this in here I think it will miss me see yes cmake you see so you have to install all three of this okay if you want to install a lib jasper uh, you can install that also you will uh, you will have to include here uh, lib jasper dev but uh, i don't think it's in uh, it's included in the uh, debian stretch release okay so that's why i removed it uh, because i was having problem installing lib jasper and uh, it's not also that much uh, recommended uh, that much necessary so these are just optional but I recommend you to install these things because these provide you optional features optional actually very good optional features which uh, you will uh, be, be needing by the tutorial okay so uh, when you execute this command the cmake and uh, you can turn on and off the switch according to your needs uh, like here i have, I have uh, used uh, with qt is equal to on if you want to turn that off uh, there's no problem and uh, then all you have to do is make chase 7 uh, the 7 here means that they will be running 7 threads at a time you can switch this to 10 or at uh, maximum 15 depending on your computer speed like i have uh, intel uh, core i3 here uh, seven generation that's turning on uh, 2.7 gigahertz and my processor is dual core and I have 4 GB RAM here so I ran it with uh, J14 and uh, with uh, least background tasks running uh, okay so I recommend you using this J7 or at maximum J8 okay and uh, if you want to use you can use J4 J5 or any other things okay so I just recommend you J7 and that's for the uh, OpenCV uh, Vicky suggests you and after that you have to do uh, in, in make the install this so this 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 process will take a long time okay uh, this depends on your computer speed and uh, you have to then execute this sudo make install so <coughs> uh, remember, remember executing this in uh, row with this command make install with root privileges if you are already in the if you already have root permissions then uh, no need to use sudo however you can use i just recommend you copy and paste this command in your terminal and this one also for uh, just uh, i'm sorry I, j I was just having a phone sorry for an interruption so I execute this command for configuring a linker you see ld config ld is the linker uh, for c++ files okay and uh, execute this command and then you're good to go and uh, you have opencv installed in the pc to check that all you have to do is just execute this command on your pc okay so let me just uh, pause for a while here okay so i'm here again so uh, you have to copy and paste this in your uh, terminal and then oops sorry i didn't copy it here and copy and uh, paste and you see 3.4.3 displayed here this means that i have uh, opencv 3.4.3 installed on my pc and if you want to execute and match the libraries installed then you can uh, just uh, execute this command and this will show you the where the libraries are installed on your pc and you can match it from here uh, which libraries you have installed and which libraries i have installed and most probably 90 percent of the libraries will be installed on your pc and if you are installed then you are good to go and uh, congratulations you may proceed to the next video uh, in the series now i said that i will be giving you uh, uh, an introduction video uh, introduction about opencv but i will recommend you going through uh, opencv uh, uh, wiki and uh, other things online sources because they will be giving you better information than me better and accurate information than uh, me uh, all i will i can tell you this much that opencv is used for uh, ai as i want you to use those features yourself okay and i want you to know all those features while you use the opencv libraries for your 
projects like if you're making an AI then you'll be needing uh, if you're making an AI that like a self-driving car that Uber made uh, quite a long time ago <coughs> so you can use uh, your, uh, your OpenCV library in those types of projects so if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching my video do share this with your friends so that uh, you can learn with them okay so that's it for today thanks for watching my video